Thank you for inviting us to present on our project, on the Walls to Bridges project at the University of Winnipeg. This is a project that uh, draws on the experience of the Inside Out program in the United States. And this was started uh, in 1997. They've had their 20th anniversary of this project and have a great deal of experience in the States. Uh, the approach focuses on co-learning, on free area principles, and circle pedagogy. Bell Hooks would talk of it as being embodied learning, which I think is what I would see as uh, a central part of experiential learning. Uh, in Winnipeg, we now have nine faculty and community workers who've been uh, trained in the Walls to Bridges program. We've offered courses in urban and inner city studies, rhetoric, and English as well. And we're now planning to offer courses at Stony Mountain Institute in criminal justice and uh, in uh, conflict resolution as well. So we've had classes at the Women's Correctional Center. And what we do is we bring students who are enrolled, campus enrolled, into the prison to study with incarcerated students uh, together behind the prison walls. We currently have six students, former incarcerated students, studying here at the University of Winnipeg and doing very well. Education. Education is a human right and it's a means of realizing other human rights. It's also a basic principle that prisoners should have access to all their human rights. Some of the students who've taken our courses have mentioned that, for example, uh, Betta, who is one of our students and uh, is uh, a really a, an ambassador for our program, says, Walls to Bridges took our moments of gray and gave us colors of hope. Um, some of the students at Stony Mountain have said, this course is a blessing for us and uh, it's an opportunity for us to feel normal. The potential benefits to the incarcerated students are that the experience is a way of valuing their viewpoints. And uh, students who come into the class from the University of Winnipeg uh, are very respectful of the knowledge that the people inside have. And they've had a lot of time to sit and think about, about uh, issues that affect our life. And, and uh, so they're very helpful in helping other students to, to understand the situation in the prison. The students inside learn to see themselves a bit differently. Uh, the staff inside the prison say they carry themselves uh, in a way that shows that they feel more self-esteem. So in the long term, students uh, will become agents of change in their own lives and uh, the broader community. For the outside students, they learn through experience about communication with people who are different from them. So when the students come together and learn in a circle, um, they realize that this is a very special space in which they can learn. And uh, they offer their, their views to people in the circle. The, the inside students offer their views. And it seems to be a very honest space for them. Um, students experience a situation where they hear different viewpoints and they value diversity. Uh, they're inspired to be involved in social change and uh, become critical thinkers. The Walls to Bridges think tank is something we've instituted through the, uh, with the support of the Experiential Learning Fund. And, uh, the students who have uh, exited prison uh, come to the think tank, sit with other students, other instructors, and uh, we talk about how we can help in terms of transition. So we're establishing this think tank as something that, that happens every month, and it's important uh, support for the students who are getting out of prison. Uh, we also see it as something that uh, will help us to lobby for change in corrections. And this is a very important uh, role for the think tank. It is uh, really significant in terms of 
helping people on the outside to understand what it's like in prison. And every society has to understand that. They have to understand what are the circumstances for people who are putting into prison. And uh, this was a, a discovery for me when I, when I thought about who was in my community. I thought, uh, you know, my community was all around me. I never thought very much about what it, what it was like to be in prison or who those people were. Were they part of my community? So I now think of them as part of my community, and this really shifted my view. This is something I learned from being at the training for Walsh Bridges in the States. We have a number of plans for establishing perhaps a center for prison education and research at the University of Winnipeg. And towards that end, we have submitted a, a shirk, a three-year shirk. So uh, we're involving about 12 different partners in that study, including the Public Interest Law Center, uh, Elizabeth Fry, John Howard, One Just City, uh, Red River College, University of Manitoba. So this is uh, something we're really hoping will come to fru fruition at the University of Winnipeg. We've offered many different courses over the years and are planning to teach uh, conflict resolution in the spring at Stony Mountain Institute and also conflict resolution at the Women's Correctional Centre. We're currently meeting with the province to establish guidelines for how we do that. So those spring courses are planned and we think we'll have an English course that's going to be taught in, uh, in the fall as well. So Stony Mountain is wanting us to teach three times a year. So that's a very positive outcome. We want to thank many people who've been involved uh, in supporting our program. Colin Russell distributes our certificates every year at that class. And James Curry has attended. The Aboriginal Student Services Centre has been phenomenal in supporting us and also President Trimby has also been very encouraging. And we have many students who've been involved and are continuing to support, including Alice Zador and Lauren Webster. That covers the uh, project and you can see on the screen some of the ways of getting in touch with us, some of the people who have been participating and also some of the publications on Inside Out and Walls to Bridges. Thanks very much for your attention.